Hey, it's Angie with News OK. I am out here at the Myriad Gardens. Right behind me is the water stage. This is so exciting. It's the brand new renovated Myriad Gardens. I'm here with Catherine who can tell us all about Oklahoma Shakespeare in the Park. This is the first summer you guys have been out here since it's been renovated. Tell us how it's gone. Well, it's gone really well, surprisingly well. You know, we knew that we were going to be coming into a new space, and uh, a lot of it's the same, uh, similar, and and so we didn't have to make too many adjustments. But it's we got lots more seating, and uh, it's a beautiful space now. The, the whole entire Myriad Gardens is different than it was, and it's just beautiful. Very nice. And obviously you can see the actors actually behind us right now practicing. Tell us about the uh, play that they're doing tonight. Well, we're doing a Midsummer Night's Dream. This is our second to the last weekend uh, of our season. Uh, and they're doing a uh, what we call a fight call, which there's a lot of physical action in the play. And the actors before the show every night have to go through it to make sure that they don't uh, have any mistakes uh, or accidents because it's a very physical production. So they, they go, through, uh, go through the scenes uh, every night before the show. Interesting. Your director was Clay Giltner? Yes, it, yes he was. Yes. Um, okay, and then tell us about Go Red. Go Red is going on tonight, right? Right. This is Go Red for Women Night, and where we've put out the call that anyone who shows up wearing red tonight, tonight only, uh, they get an $8 ticket price, and then we're hoping that they turn around that money that they've saved on a ticket uh, and donate to Go Red for Women. Yes, definitely. So obviously very exciting for uh, Oklahoma Shakespeare in the Park. You all have been in Hay at Hayfer Park for quite a long time, and now here at the Myriad Garden, how much fun. It must be exciting to be a part of the whole city. It is because downtown Oklahoma City is nothing like it used to be. Um, when we moved here, I guess it was five years ago, uh, things were changing, but now there's so much construction going on. Uh, it is an exciting time to be a part of downtown Oklahoma City. Yes, okay, so you can still come out and see A Midsummer's Night Dream. Tell us when your closing date uh, is. Our final performance is September 3rd, so people need to hurry if they want to see it. Yes. And they can find out information about tickets on your website? Yes, on the website, OklahomaShakespeare.com, or calling the office at 235-3700. Wonderful. 8 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays? Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And obviously, this is a wonderful opportunity to come see some live theater out under the stars in the beautiful, renovated Myriad Gardens. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angie.